Hi, my Mouseketeers. It's Miss Goldman, and today we are going to read a story you may have seen the movie of. It is Bambi. So sit back, relax, and enjoy listening to the story. Bambi. Adapted by Addison Lee. It was a beautiful spring morning. Baby birds were chirping. Squirrels and chipmunks were eating nuts and acorns for breakfast. And the bunnies were just waking up. But a wonderful surprise soon had everyone rushing through the forest. Wake up, friend owl, you'd better hurry, a bunny named Thumper called. All the animals gathered around a mother deer to welcome the arrival of her new fawn. This is quite an occasion, friend owl said. It isn't every day a prince is born. Thumper looked up at the young prince's mother. What you gonna call him? he asked. Well, she said, I think I'll call him Bambi. As the days passed, Bambi grew stronger, but he had much to learn. Bambi and his new friends went exploring together. Every day was an adventure. Those are birds, Thumper explained as they passed a nearby tree. Burr? Bambi repeated, trying his best to say the word. Say bird. Bird, Thumper said, correcting him. Bird, Bambi shouted, thrilled he had learned something new. Bird, Bambi called again when a yellow butterfly landed on his tail. No, that's not a bird, Thumper laughed. That's a butterfly. Soon they passed a patch of flowers and Bambi mistook them for butterflies. No, that's a flower, Thumper said, correcting him again. So when a skunk rose out of the flower patch Bambi had discovered, Bambi proudly said, flower. Thumper laughed so hard he rolled on the ground. No, 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 that's not a flower. He's a little... Oh, that's all right, the skunk quickly interrupted. He can call me a flower if he wants to. I don't mind. It didn't take long for Bambi, Thumper, and Flower to become great friends. As Bambi got older, his mother taught him new things, too. Once he was old enough, she brought him to the meadow for the first time. You must never rush out on the meadow, she warned. There might be danger. She wanted Bambi to be safe, but he didn't realize just how scary a place the meadow could be. As they explored the meadow, Bambi and his mother ran into a few other deer, including a young fawn named Feline. Bambi was shy at first. But soon the two fawns started playing together and became the best of friends. Feline teased Bambi and even licked his face playfully when he stumbled into a nearby pond. But their playtime was interrupted when a loud noise startled the other deer. They all quickly fled the meadow. Bambi! Bambi! his mother called. Mother! he cried. Mother! Bambi was lost in the meadow all alone. Another deer appeared, the biggest one of all. It was the great prince of the forest. He helped Bambi escape the meadow and led him to his mother. It's safe now, Bambi's mother said. We don't have to hide any longer. After that scary day in the meadow, life returned to normal, and everything was peaceful again in the forest. Months passed, and Bambi finally got to enjoy winter. He had never seen snow before. Thumper brought Bambi to a frozen pond and showed him how to spin and swirl across the ice. Come on, it's all right, Thumper said encouragingly. Bambi stood at the edge for a moment before leaping onto the ice. Yippee, he called. 
But Bambi belly flopped. The ice was very slippery. Thumper skated over and said, Some fun, huh, Bambi? Even though Bambi learned how to have fun in the winter, he hoped spring would come soon. Food was hard to find, and he was awfully hungry. Bambi and his mother soon discovered a small patch of grass growing through the snow. But just as they began to eat, Bambi's mother sensed danger. The sounds of hunting filled the air. Bambi, quick, the thicket, his mother called, urging him to run to safety. Faster, faster, Bambi, don't look back, keep running. Bambi heard another gunshot just as he reached his home. We made it, we made it, mother, he said. Then he realized that she wasn't there. Mother, where are you? He searched among the trees. He kept calling for her, but he couldn't find his mother. Bambi was crying when the great prince of the forest found him. Your mother can't be with you anymore, the great prince said softly. He explained that he would take care of Bambi now. Come, my son. Bambi looked back at the thicket one last time, and then he followed his father into the forest. Time, Time passed quickly, and soon winter was over. The forest was green again. The flowers bloomed. The birds sang. One day, Bambi went to visit his old friends. My, my, how you've changed, said Friend Owl, when he saw how Bambi and the others had grown. Friend Owl told his young friends it was only a matter of time before they would become twitterpated. Bambi, Flower, and Thumper looked confused, so Friend Owl explained. You begin to get weak in the knees, your head's in a whirl, and then you feel light as a feather, and before you know it, you're walking on air. Bambi swore it would never happen to him. Bam Bambi didn't quite understand what the owl had meant until he ran into an old friend. Don't you remember me? I'm Feline, she said. Feline licked his face like she had as a young fawn. Bambi felt dizzy. He felt light as a feather. He finally understood what Friend Owl had meant. Bambi and Feline were twitterpated. But a jealous deer tried to separate them. He and Bambi fought near the edge of a cliff, almost toppling over it. Feline was scared for Bambi's safety. Eventually, Bambi won the fight, and the bad deer left them alone for good. Time passed, and Feline and Bambi lived happily together in the forest. Then one morning, Bambi saw smoke rising in the distance. The great prince was looking at the smoke, too. He warned Bambi of this new danger. He was worried the fire would spread quickly. We must go deep into the forest. Hurry, the great prince called. All the forest animals were afraid, too. Thumper, Flower, and their other friends saw the rising smoke and ran to safety. Bam Bambi rushed to the forest to make sure Feline was safe, too. When he found her, Bambi saw a group of fierce hounds attacking her. They chased her up a cliff. She was trapped. Bambi fought off the hounds to save Feline and told her to run to safety. Exhausted from his battle with the hounds, Bambi was very weak. The fire was spreading through the forest, and Bambi couldn't get up. He tried his hardest, but he didn't think he had enough strength left to escape. 
Just then, his father arrived. Get up, Bambi. Get up. You must get up. Bambi tried and tried again. With his father's help, Bambi got up and ran through the forest. Smoke filled the air and the fire was chasing them. The great prince led Bambi to the river. They'd be safe there. Feline met Bambi by the river. They watched the fire destroy the forest. The next day, when the fire was out, the animals would all work together to rebuild their homes. When spring came again, the forest was healed and the animals once more had some exciting news to share. Wake up, friend owl, Thumper called. Oh, what now, said the old owl as he followed the rabbit through the forest. Bambi and Feline had new twins. Prince Bambi ought to be mighty proud, friend owl remarked. And he was proud. Prince Bambi was excited about life with his new family in the forest he called home. So I hope you enjoyed this story of Bambi. And hopefully you will go online to Reading IQ and take the quiz and let me know how you do with it. And as always, you can always reread the story. And I will leave you with... Goodbye, my musketeers. Be safe, be smart, and go for the gold.